button. Like in a little button. Okie dokie. Tick tock, tick tock. <clears throat> Here we go. Live on the radio, quiet on the set. Zoom Room Video, sponsored by the VMC. All right, all right. Quiet on the set. You're listening to WRFB, Radio Free Britannia. Coming to you live from Deltona, Florida, six years plus and still running. Who would have ever thought they'd last this long? Lunch with no other than the dynamic duo themselves, Laz and Jack. <clears throat> tough, tough. And greetings, everybody. This is Laz. And this is Jack. Welcome to another edition of What Are We Doing With Our Lives and What Can We Do to Improve That Situation with on a little show called Lunch with Laz and Jack and Lily. And Lily. Lily making her cat meow. Hi, yes. Lily. Yes. <clears throat> And harmless noob ninety eight. Thank you uh, for the follow. Getting us started off yes. on Monday Madness. And yes, welcome to today's show, boys and girls. It is Panic Monday, May seventeenth, twenty twenty one. Out here, inside and outside, shy of the Avatar, this gangster, Skeggy Media, out there, Econdus and Bridge Troll, of course, armless noob. Welcome to the stream. I see Irish eyes out there on Drake Coast uh, and a few others floating on in. So welcome, welcome, welcome. <clears throat> and uh, we got some stuff to talk about. We've got some questions. I don't know. I got some questions. I don't we know about stuff. you. Yeah. What? I, you, you, I, you have questions? I, I may you know, or may not have answers. I don't know. I, I, I'm sure you probably have some of the same questions. So... <laughs> oh, gotta remind yeah. everybody it is a short week this week uh last show this week will be on thursday only four days because i'm headed up north gonna get to hang You're out going. with the econdas and uh, that fucker sean on friday night when i get into the city and uh, looking forward to it so uh hey and anybody else in the new york metro area wants to come hang out hit me up for yes. details that's right. Just look for the really short guy. Yeah, with the funny shirt. <laughs> well, I you really can't call that shirt funny. It is New York City. Yeah, well, yeah, it is what it is. That's why I live in Florida these days. <laughs> yeah. Very simple. 
Very simple. So yeah. we do have lots of tweets from Chris that we can yeah, talk about. Interestingly enough, is uh, the, the Tweetiverse became active uh, shortly after our show ended on Friday, mm -hmm. uh, after almost a week of uh, silence. But I did notice that uh, there was a post on uh, his Facebook uh, that mentioned that uh, he was only working half days because he was uh, caught up in taxes at tax time, uh, getting it done. So uh, he was only oh, doing I must have missed that, uh, ha face, half days Facebook last post. week, uh, yeah. plus, uh, plus a couple other interesting things going on, apparently. Uh, David, don't make promises you can't keep, buddy. Anyway, so, uh, so it seems like someone put off their their taxes until the very last minute. It anybody like. who does taxes does that, don't they? Unless you know, anybody is yeah. running any kind of business. Uh, oh, it, see, if you could see my screen, you'd see Lily trying to scratch the monitor where her tail is. <laughs> now she's come back over to trying you. to chase the tail. But yes, Ikan, this has yeah. got it right. I love free shit. Open the giveaways. Okay. That's right. Yeah, Onless news is what real. you do. Uh, what do we do? Uh, we do we do a misinterpretation of the news or a similar fact simile thereof. Yeah, we we do something. So we're going all the way back to, to the fourteenth. That's right. On Catnip Games, because it looks like some server changes did not get published with the last patch. This might have caused some client server mismatch on some stuff. I saw a report of durability issues with repair, and this might have been the cause. Now published and hopefully fixed. Hopefully. And uh, Chris did get confirmation that that did fix the durability issue. Yay. Followed by on the 15th, a tweet to kick off a new QA build. Last one was not so hot. The texture sheet atlas for the UI was off. So all user interface elements are scrambled mess of hot garbage. <laughs> it's a good thing that was on QA. Yeah, well. Is. <laughs> yeah, and... Uh, 21 hours ago, still working on a new QA build. We're on attempt number six. I blame Devil Cult because three builds ago, he announced that there was no other ways the build could fail now and didn't knock on wood. Optimistic that build number six will stick. David, don't make the promises you can't keep, brother. Don't make those promises you can't keep. <laughs> And, and make, bus here, make, here, make here it, is make your it introduction first before you make those uh, promises. But uh, now no, no. I gotta, see what you gotta, do is you make it and then you test it yourself. Yeah, well, and then you say, okay, it works. That's why right. that, you got to yeah, make it flawless, right? Exactly. It worked mm -hmm. for me. It worked for me. Yeah. Is uh, but now I got to give uh, Devil Cult uh, big props for the stuff that he is getting done. So looks oh, like yeah. he's working on some other things that'll hopefully make. Uh, Builds better as well there. Mm. Yes, and I I just think it's so hilarious that Lily joins me on on my desk every M60. time it's, at this uh, time. It's a never ending, uh, ongoing group of changes here in Shroud, and of course, uh, some of them good, some of them bad. Uh, uh, for your gameplay, probably not a whole lot has changed. But uh, there is a lot of other stuff going on in there. Yeah. And yep. 18 hours ago, the new QA build is live. Sorry, but don't have patch notes just yet for it. Patch and notes? the new QA build is still hot garbage. <laughs> I'll get a new one out in the, in the morning. Been that kind of weekend, I'm afraid. That was 15 hours ago. Uh, followed by net nine hours ago, Devacult and Beezus found the issues last night and fixed it. Build now underway. Should have a new QA live later this morning. Five hours ago, just submitted the fix so that pet owners can use teleport option during combat. 
Um, I, I think I like that. So is that the teleport with a scroll or teleport the pet? I, I, I believe it's in reference to teleporting your pet back to you. So if your pet happens to go way off on an aggro someplace yeah. and he's doing something you don't want, you'll be able to pull him back uh, to you. Yeah, absolutely, Akondis. I think I got to really yeah. like uh, like that addition uh, to do that because uh, many a tamer will know that sometimes your pets, well, a lot of times your pets just uh, don't follow Randomly do things? A, as, they, yeah. as they should. There's not, they're not as obedient. There should be an obedience school. There we go. I'm going to open up Lazarus Long's Dragon Training Institute of Novia. Bring your pets to me and I will make them obedient for a small fee. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and four hours ago, a new QA build is out that has been verified to work. Verified we, we, to we, work. Yes. So that was four hours ago. Um, Tina's like... Isn't there an obedience skill in the taming tree? <laughs> uh, let's um, see. Let, let us see. Um, let's get on over to uh, the taming tree. That that uh, second one directly underneath the tame creature is called <laughs> obedience. Obedience. Yeah. Yeah. There is. It there there is. And everybody can see that I don't have any skills. We also, we also have the uh, pet attack precision training, which, uh, you know, not another good one. My attack precision. Yes. So that means when I say attack this, you do what I say, not run to the skeleton over there that's inconsequential. I want you to fight the big bad guy in the middle of the room. Eh. Yes, even at obedience 120, uh, uh, that uh, that doesn't always work out so well, as you can see here, Tina. But uh, again, uh, it, it and affects... And thank you, it. Bridget Royal. Bridget Royal. With, with getting himself a copy of Dino D-Day. And 200 bits. Oh, as soon as Bridget Royal figures out how to do that cheer for 200 bits, we're going to be going to some marbles. But that is Dino D-Day. Let, let's go see how, how much that is. Dino D-Day. $10. Yay. He, he's trying to do the cheer 200. He doesn't want to work. I, I think I think uh, he's teasing you. Uh, he's he's <laughs> definitely teasing me. It's like wait waiting for that sound effect to go off. No, it has not taken that. You see that bits for good vibes at the bottom. <laughs> he knows how to do cheer three hundred. That cheer two hundred is awfully tricky. Oh man, <laughs> there uh, it yeah. is. So that means that we're going to be going to some mobbles. And do you want us to pin it? Do you want us to do something else? Do you want us to all die? Or our marbles to all die? Uh, anything fun? Anything okay. fun. Your choice. Oh, so so let's let let's go to let's see. Pixels Death No, Pixels Death Alley is a, a little bit too linear and not as many fun ejections. So let's go to the P Portal Purgatory. Portal Purgatory. Put us oh, in Purgatory. Yeah. I yes. love Portal Purgatory. Yes. So that is loaded. Let's do exclamation mark play to join in. And then Let's go ahead and click start in three, <laughs> two, one, start. That gives you 69 seconds to do exclamation mark play and exclamation mark I love free shit because something is coming soon. And Bridget Royal uh, has an interesting witch sound effect. 
for his marble. Oh, yes. For yeah. his flaming bag of poo, because it's a Halloween yes. trick. You know, you had to throw the flaming yes. bag of poo on the doorstep. And, of course, I don't believe people still actually fall for that, but. <laughs> did, did they ever? That's the real question. You know? <laughs> I, it, it, to, to me, it's like. I, it, I, I've i never seen it tried in real life. I have maybe toilet paper to house or five. Yeah, um, you know, done, done that. Uh, net, but you know. never done the flaming bag of poo. Um, yeah, so we are yeah. dropping think, down in 10 any, seconds. Anybody was brave enough to actually scoop up poo and put it in the bag, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, it's like you could always wear just sort of rubber glove and pick it up and put it in the yeah. bag. I mean... I mean, but that was before uh, latex gloves were extremely popular. Okay, so dropping down the pegboard. Yeah, it's don't, like rocking. Don't, don't, don't matter who gets out it's, there. We're just going to get down I, here I, to watch I know. the fun stuff. <laughs> I got to start zooming way out because it's going to be one where we get to... Turn around. All right. Tina hits the first what's portal. Going on. Okay. Skeggy now in the lead. Got to zoom back out. Trying, trying to get it as close to the. Okay. Botox up and ejected. No one's been ejected on my side yet. People are doing weird shit. He conned this up and in. Oh, oh in. You've, I was you've got a victor. Tina was ejected. Already? Sentinel was ejected. Yes. Oh, there goes Laz. Is ejected. There goes Tina. There goes Econdis. Down to four people left. Yes, same here. Yep. Cynicist ejected, and the blue what? wall catches Lice, up Lice. everybody else. Oh <laughs> man, who's gonna win? He this got game? the only one to finish the race. And where is oh. he? He's not here on set today. No, he he he's probably in a meeting. Okay, what's gonna end up happening? We're going to end up with lots more ejections, or are we going to end up with fun stuff? Like me winning. Okay, let's see. Still waiting for people to win and finish. So that way we can figure out who's going to get nope, some nobody scrolls. Nobody in yet. And Bridge Troll just missed the basket. So Bridge Troll... Or Bridget Royal ejected. Um, I know it's so close yet so far away. Okay, let's see. And Uber Eats would like to thank me for eating way too much food from them that they have gifted me ten dollars. Okay. Ah. Oh, I missed the the bu the bucket as well. Lily is now resting comfortably on my wrist. And trying to attack the mouse with her tail. Okay. Yeah, I, I eat a lot of Uber Eats. Uh, <sighs> I, I've used uh, DoorDash down here. I don't think I've actually used uh, Uber Eats. Well, I, I, I will use Uber Eats, Favor, DoorDash, uh, everything. Just depending on what I'm in the mood for. Wh whoever, Although, deliver, whoever delivers whatever it is you're in the mood for. There you go. Yep. And Blue Wall is coming. Still. I know. No one is landed in, but the Blue Wall is coming. Okay. Skeggy and Draken Naruto still trying to finish. And there they go. No winners whatsoever. 
But you know what I get to do? I get to come over here and I get to click on close giveaway. One in four chance to win for those people that did I love free shit. And Ekondis is victorious with a copy of Enforcer. Got this on a roll today. Enforcer Police Crime Action for $19.99 on Steam. Okay, there you go, Ekondis. And that means that I get to click on that reset button and open up another giveaway. So we have covered the Tweeterverse. Lily is leaving the desk. And she really does warm up the desk. I'm I can sure. tell exactly where she's been laying. Okay. <laughs> Exclamation mark. I love free shit on both streams to join so, uh, in those giveaways. Can, can, can somebody enlighten me out there? Uh, where, where will I find patch notes for the QA? Um, see, it's in the testing directives, um, on the forums for, um, what we're supposed to do on the QA server. <clears throat> testing directives. Yeah. Uh, you mean, yeah. you mean the ones that don't yeah. exist? <clears throat> yeah. Uh. Yeah. Lily is off the desk now. But Let's yes. See. Yeah, just just curious because, you know, his notes hadn't been posted yet, so I'd just like to know where I can go to find those once they're posted. I don't know. I don't it, know. Yeah, it's just one of them unexplained mysteries of the universe, but... Uh, Pick a topic, any topic. How about uh, some Let's, yeast infections? Some yeast infections, because Laz has a yeast infection. And uh, oh. I, I gotta, I gotta look into this, and maybe, yeah, maybe some people do. Uh... Well, let's so, talk about it. It takes wheat in one glass jar to make yeast. If I remember correctly, one wheat seed is 16 gold with a yield of 16 wheat if you watered it three times. A glass jar is six gold, I believe, so if you clone your own yeast, it takes two to three days to make. So, after spending 24 gold and waiting two days, I guess what costs 20 gold at the vendor and what is not counting the time it takes to plant water, make sack of wheat, make a sack of flour, and make yeast... Something is wrong in Soda Town. Uh. I'm all for crafting, even handcrafting, but the vendor price is undercut what is possible to produce manually by a large margin. I think the solution is to raise the price of yeast from vendors to at least 500 gold. We can't take them away from vendors as we need something to clone from. Yes, now... Um... In order to create yeast, you have to buy the first yeast off a vendor. There's no way around it. That's one of the weird things. Um, just one of them one-offs that you, you actually need to buy this in order to do it. And we've talked about yeast culturing, brewing, things like that. Um, but I thought it, once, it, you made, once you made the clone, <clears throat> you would just, you know, you, you get... I, don't, I forget how many you get from this recipe. Hold on, I got. The we we, we should we should always use the real life example. You get a jar with some warm water, and then you put additional yeast from the original part, and then it just keeps on growing. Right. So I, I I've got the recipe open here, and you take the one glass jar, the one yeast, and the three flour, and I forget how many jars it actually makes. Um, at this point. Um, does anybody yeah. know that number offhand, or do we actually have to I have to go try and attempt to do this? But I'll I'll look at that. So, um, from my my old knowledge of doing it, you would just take a couple of the yeast that you made and use those, and you just constantly 
rotate those to get more and more yeast, you know, as you go. You use one, get three. Use one, get three. Use one, get three, or whatever. Yeah. One gets you two, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Um, but yes. And, and that's how you continued the process. Uh, I'd never thought about growing it because uh, I guess we didn't have that when this originally hit. Um, but yeah, um, I don't understand why you would go through all that effort when it's just as easy to sit there and, you know, once you've got the two clones, you know, you make four more, you know, and then you got the four clones, you make eight more, um, and so on. Uh, why, why would you yeah. go through all that hassle of and farming it all? That That's my question, but, uh. Hey man, um, whenever I need yeast for cooking, I go to the store and I buy it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, I, Coswald I, I does have don't go out yeah. and start from yeah. <laughs> yeah, Coswald does uh, actually have a correction on Taru's uh, math. An empty glass jar is two gold. So by my calculation, each jar of yeast costs an average of fourteen point three gold to make. Including the cost to water the seeds, um, you can also add 0.8 gold piece times three equals 2.4 gold piece for tool use, which would come around 16.7 gold per yeast. <clears throat> but yeah, so if you want yeast, just buy it. Well, um, and, and, and until they, yeah. they turn around... It, 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 it's going to be funny when they turn around and they delete yeast uh, from the vendor. Um, again, I, it's going to happen. Yeah, yeah. I mean, may, may, it's maybe be, it's the yeah, but maybe it's the flower he should be considering because the flower he's growing, um, right? He's not growing the yeast. The yeast comes from the jars that you made, so. Again, well, don't you have to have a sack for that? I mean, shouldn't yeah, you, have you have to, to have craft three, a sack three, as well? Yeah, you, sh you have three sacks of flour, which again, I usually just buy. So, but he's yeah. what he says here is after spending and waiting it for to make the sack of wheat to make a sack uh -huh. of flour, yeah. You know, um, I guess he's just you know. Hey, trying, trying to make a trying to make a living at <laughs> something that's. Uh, Easier done by buying it directly off the merchant. Shh, shh, shh. Yeah. Pointing it out. <laughs> Something like that. <clears throat> but yeah. Kiasma has actually gone out and found a map utility for some yeah. people out there. Ooh. Uh so, some YouTuber was out there drawing maps. Um, and the, the funny thing is, this actually kind of looks like the first iteration of the uh, Shroud map. Or second iteration, something. First or second uh, wait, iteration wait, of the, the Shroud the, map. The, the, top, the top picture and the bottom picture on the... Uh, Wonder Draft, uh, the first one. Uh, the first one? Yeah, it's like a three-hour-long video. Yeah, of, well, uh, I I noticed that even the trailer, uh, just showing you the the one below is uh, just a drag. So I mean, we're not yeah, gonna be um, showing you these videos, but if you want to go check, I just click play. It's on mute, but it, it oh, the, what it really does look like the very first iteration, first or second iteration of the overworld map that uh, that we did use. Um, for Shroud. Yeah, we got maps. We, we got one maps. There. I got one back there. <laughs> We've we got, got four maps. different four different types in games. Yeah, when, when are we going to get in and uh, just knock that out, boys and girls? Uh, please, maps. I wonder what, why what people don't play. They don't have maps. I I, mean, I I went out. You know, we were talking. We talked oops. about the black cat the other day. Uh, let, 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 let's 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 talk something simple. Um, and somebody commented that you can go out to Highvale 
and uh, you'll be able to go ahead and uh, tame the tabby cat and the calico cat, which hasn't been the case in a long time. Um, even High Vale no longer has a map. One of the earliest, one of the what? most visited, oh, but man. one of the, it's part of the damn quest line, has no map. Has no hey, map. So, so are you referring to the High Vale outskirts or just no, High no. Vale? High Vale. High Vale in itself. The town of High Vale. Yes. Wow. Yeah. It's been a while uh, since a, I've been out it, there. It's, you know, that's a place you can live in, really, but, you know. Yeah. But. But, yeah. Max, no man. man. Yeah, so when I went looking for the bar and I actually had to go, and let me go do it, just does giggles and grins. You, you had to go to uh, yeah. maps dot shroud of the avatar because thank map goodness dot sh yeah. shroud of the avatar dot com and then you had to go search for high veil nice searchable map and there was my map and why this is not in game oh, anymore people man don't know um, and again, for the most part, I mean, I knew where I was looking to go find these two critters, uh, which I could not locate the calico. The calico was usually right by the barn, and uh, it, apparently he wasn't spawning any time. So saw a couple tabbies, and all they do is go meow, and they talk to you. They, they're not tameable. I think the question's been asked before, but I tagged I, I'm getting some meows Chris. right now. Yeah, meow. I speak fluent feline. Uh, meow. 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 But, uh, you know, a, a simple early, you know, entry level. Yeah, we should have the map. Hey, man. Point that out. <laughs> anyway. But yes, uh, apparently he was uh, impressed with this map making tool. Maybe he's, uh, if you're considering having your own map program and you don't want to rely on game maps, you can go check this tool out and see what you can do with well, it. it. It looked like he was developing that inside of Unity um, within a Unity client. Um, so it, it is one where, yeah, he was actually developing something. Okay, wheat flour in jars can be found on shelves for free, unless you steal them. Oh, isn't yes. that stealing them? Shh. It's something, man. It's something. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Bridge Troll, yeah, I didn't uh, you know, know the yeast market was that lucrative either, that you would waste that much time. I I can't remember the last time I actually physically needed to use yeast in one of my recipes. I guess it was just, uh, you know. What, I, you, I, you haven't been baking bread? No, I, you know, I never found bread I, to be one of those foods that I, I or anybody else would want to eat, you know. It was basically, you're getting uh, baked all the time, man. Why aren't you uh, including? It's a uh, different kind of baking. You know? Oh, yeah. You know, and if, if they if they would get you they would give us that kind of ingredient to bake into our goods, then maybe I'd do a little bit more baking in game. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Something. But uh, yeah, come on, man. Maps. Man. Need maps. Maps. But Econdus got mm -hmm. us got us into something that. Uh, is, oh. uh, I guess, a known issue and has been a known issue. And I know I was just out there recently. I didn't have... Uh, I, I've run into this several times myself, but... Uh, you, you mean those mobs that you can't loot? Yes. The, the ones out at the expeditionary camp. Those, those guys. Yeah. But Icondus was out again. Again, uh, what are you doing? Looking for those essences, Icondus? Trying to make yourself some totems. <clears throat> and it's also the same issue in the Quell Shardfall. And, and uh, it was previously reported. Yeah. Yeah, well, I like that, uh, you know, we verified this. And uh, the, the first verification goes back to, uh, uh, what was it, 2018? 
<laughs> when a condis actually Ekondis. actually bugged it two years ago. <laughs> no, that that would be three years ago. Oh yeah, twenty one. Three years ago. Sorry, three years ago. Twenty twenty one's going fast. It is. Yeah. We're five months gone into this year already. Uh, yeah. Bugged three years ago. And still a bug. Bug. And then it was bugged Last two year. uh the, the quell shard fall one was bugged in twenty twenty. So a little bit different. Oh, I just yeah, never never had the eye. issue anywhere but the expeditionary camp, and uh, I always thought that uh, it was just that you if you if you're really um, out there decimating, you know, it, it takes a while for the game to catch up with you is what I always thought was the cause because I go out there with a nightmare, and I mean, you know, it's just slaughter, you know, and I, I'm just out there. I spend more time looting than I do fighting. Because my, my nightmare starts hitting things, and I just, you know, uh, use my arrows to bait in, you know, get the things closer to me so I don't have to go so far as to loot. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's like always doing something. Yeah, well, that happens too, Bridge Troll. That's, that's another one um, that I, I only find happens in, uh, in tighter quarters, uh, usually while I'm out mining. Uh, is when the the pet will be on top of either a node or um, something that I just killed while I was mining. Because, uh, you know, Jack and I have been known to play a game called Fuck Your Neighbor. Where we screw got, your neighbor, man. Well, fuck your neighbor, screw your neighbor, you know, from Brooklyn. i got to put my twist on it. Screw your neighbor. Yeah. Where it's, uh, you know, each man for himself on the resources in the scene. And if you can drag the... NPCs onto your opponent and get them attack to attack him while you scarf the resources out from under your buddy. Well, yeah, that's how we do it, and uh, it's that's always important, there. man. It, it's an important thing to do is to uh, make sure and gather all those resources for yourself since they're not shared. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, sometimes I, I can show you cases where uh, the E key is grabbing stuff from way yonder when my mouse is nowhere near it also. Um, but that's that's another story in itself. Well, <laughs> that may actually be related to uh, some uh, network connectivity issues where the thing on the map is not actually in the same right location i mean yeah. someone did show a screenshot with me yesterday where it's like on their screen they were in front of me on my screen they were six feet behind me yeah is uh i i understand that economist but i'm talking like uh being out in east reach gap and being in the back corner of the control point and looting stuff like from the other side of the control point where I have no right looting stuff from, you know, is just uh, you know, one, one, one of those, uh, you know. And I mean, don't get me wrong, you know, because I, I can hit that E key pretty quick if we're going to talk AOE loot, you know what I'm saying? I mean... <laughs> yep. And I'm sure you can hear Lily tear, trying to tear up my, my chair. Yeah. He's just a little ham. Yep. <clears throat> now she's flicking her tail background. on my beard. What? Not hearing any background music at all. <clears throat> I have some background music. Yeah, it looks like a trapper hat. <laughs> I am part redneck. Um. <clears throat> But yay, congratulations on re reporting uh, three-year-old bugs. bugs. And that's why, <clears throat> even though something's been reported before, every release, you should re-report it. Because one, we don't have comprehensive patch notes that tell us everything that was fixed. Two, it may still be an issue. 
kind of like the looting of the kobolds. And it's like more than likely someone may have marked it as resolved internally in Jira, or they may have uh, completely forgotten about it. Shuffled off. In City Aether. Yes. Okay, yeah. And then, but yes. Uh, let, let's talk a little bit about Ampu. Ampu's got a little idea here, and uh, I'm curious as to what everybody's thoughts are. All of the Re various recipes that are... Reteachable or discoverable? Discoverable. Yeah. Wait, wait, what should it be? Well, some of those recipes are reteachable through the trade window. Then all this all discoverable reteachable or discoverable recipes are supposedly reteachable. So hence they they both fall into yeah. the same category. Well, they they both fall into the same category, but the same category may not be the same because there are some recipes that are uh Teachable, but that, not not reteachable. Well, see, th therein lies the rub. Okay, if yeah. you or I, you or I discovered it as reteachable, um, sometimes when you teach it to somebody, they don't get reteachable. They just learn the recipe, the recipe. and they don't get yeah. the reteachable bonus because they didn't discover. Or B in the um. Doing of quests when you get something like that and you've finished a quest and you get a reteachable emote. Um, you teach it to I somebody am. else, they don't always necessarily get reteachable. Uh, yeah, you, you, you know what? I, I still kind of think that they need to put a bunch more recipes in game that are completely discoverable without telling people and let people experiment with things. Well, Personally, I, mean, but, I believe that yeah. they should all be discoverable. You know, oh, absolutely. Every and, single and, recipe should be discoverable. And, and, and have level requirements with it, you know, is you're not going to be able to, you know, make you, the most beautiful gold well, ring until you've beat out a few brass and copper ones and perfected your trade. You know what I'm saying? I mean, just, you know. <laughs> uh, Chris has finally seen a centaur. <laughs> so oh, this, the, the, the centaur bug? Yeah, I saw comments out there as to that uh, centaur bug yeah. is back. I don't think it was ever really fixed. It's just that, uh, you know, while we do have horses, uh, not many people opt to ride them now that we've got them, which is, uh, I think, funny as all yeah. get out. But, yeah, that's, like, that's what, what I thought, was, you know, This was never, never really... been fixed? As truth be told, is uh, you know when I break out the horse, it's just to show it off. Uh, otherwise, when I'm traveling around, I'm teleporting, and most of my locations are like you know within steps of where I'm going. So there's really no need to break out the horse. Yeah. Um. But yes, Although, um... I, I I keep training all that those new skills is uh. While I do everything else out there, which which are the new skills? The uh, where are those new horse skills? <laughs> yeah, they they those glorious horse skills are in, aren't they in tactics? That's uh, what I forgot. Yes, uh -huh. uh, under under the tactics tree, as well as out there. Uh, Yesterday, doing a couple other things, uh, my my new horse skills, my mount, mounted proficiency, gallop speed, carry capacity, and mounted speed focus are all continually climbing, but uh, I haven't rode my horse. <laughs> hey, man, my, mine are like 50s and 33s. You would think that would fall under the taming skill, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah, y you know what? it would be anywhere else other than tactics. Yeah. yeah, I guess, I guess I should just like, you know, do something and whack those out, get those GM because they're just, I, I just turned them on because, uh, 
really don't need them right now. Yes, shh, logic. Here, here, wait, hold, hold on. I, I just tur turned turned them up. Let, let me go use a, a horse skill. And, and watch my horse skill go up. Well, you can. It's not that horse, Tina. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm riding a horse, not... But of of course, and yeah, you can the, the one you thing can I see. Did, uh, hold on, I think I've got a build for that. There, there, it, it's gonna pop soon. Come on, hurry up, pop. Yeah, where where I can actually ride the nightmare and have the nightmare pet out with me, which makes things look really cool. But of course. You can't do anything while you're riding a nightmare like plunk arrows oh, into something. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I, I would love to be able to shoot arrows off the back of my horse. Be real nice. I I just increased my uh, my my mounted stuff just by uh, spamming random shit. Sentinel, the skills do go up using those skills. The skills Indeed. go up using any. Skill as long as they are marked up, as you can see on my chat window, my mounted carry capacity is focus has increased as well as my mounted speed focus. Ooh, any skill, it does not have to be related to horses, as long as it's tactic. Hey, look. Any skill, <laughs> because everything is related to tactics. Uh, so anyway, back to uh, this topic. You want to read this real quick, and then we'll. Oh, uh, uh, what am I reading? The rename teachable to discoverable. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, all of the various recipes are are named reteachable can be discovered, but precedent was made to make sure that people understood they could reteach these recipes to others, and thus they were named reteachable, not discoverable. Currently, it's more important to explain to players they can discover recipes by just making them, and renaming teach reteachable recipes to discoverable covers this. And these can be taught to other people. It's more important to let new players know they can discover recipes instead of knowing it can be taught to others by having specific title of discoverable, not just the reteachable name. This does throw a wrench, as it were, in the gold zinc of players buying basic recipes, but some people are just fine with paying for even a discoverable recipe just to know the exact recipe and to add it to the recipe book. It's, it's almost like there's no websites that actually had a bunch of recipes on there. Or still do. Yeah. Uh, well, first off, let, let, let's look at this from a logical point, okay? If you have a recipe book and the only thing you have is purchase recipes, uh, you, you wouldn't know that a recipe was reteachable because a lot of those aren't oh. reteachable, right? So how would you know in the first place that something was discoverable because your book isn't going to tell you that. If the, the recipe you didn't buy from a vendor isn't going to tell you that. So you're not going to get a tooltip. So how would you know? Well, the, the, there would actually have to be a lot of logic actually put in. Um, yeah. So on the vendor's, they would have to actually add a new tag that matches what's in your recipe book to say discoverable. Um, and, and that way it's like you, you'd be able to see on a vendor, Hey, this recipe is discoverable and I don't have it currently in my book. So that, that is a lot of uh, logic and checking between what what you do already possess in your book versus uh, so client server matching of data. Well, I actually have um, in my let's see here. I, 
How, how many times have you gone to a vendor to buy a recipe and you realize, what all recipes do I have in my book versus yeah. what are on this vendor? And you're like, I don't know. Let's buy them all. Now, here I have, uh, you know, let's see, recipe for a mounted bass. And the tooltip says reteachable. You have already learned this recipe and requires your level 30. Um, whereas a mounted Arctic wolf is teachable, which means. It can be taught, but it can't be retaught. So mounted bass, discoverable. Mounted Arctic wolf, not discoverable. But it's teachable or not reteachable because the mounted Arctic wolf is not a discoverable recipe. So, um, but how would they then know if, it, you know, it's a, I, I think you need both if you really want to push that uh, issue. Uh, yeah. I mean, it, but yeah, you know, I, that's I, all I usually care about too, Tina, is, uh, you know, if I'm out there searching and looking at recipes, I just want to know, do I have it in my book? If not, I'm buying it. You know, I don't care whether it's reteachable, whether it's not teachable. Uh, you know, I'm not going to go in search of the person who may happen to have the recipe on the off chance that that's the one I'm looking for. I'd just rather buy it and put it in my book and be done with it. But uh... it, 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 it's kind of like, do you remember those? Uh, we're going to teach you all the recipe trading adventures where people would just like open up trades and share 50 recipes at a time. Um, people still do that from time to time, but not a lot. Mm -hmm. is, I, I used to do it a lot, but... Uh, you know, I've got a lot, you know, just doing emotes. Let's just pull up the emotes for crying out loud. Uh, just, and this has not got anything to do with actually teaching in-game recipes, but the amount of teachability and emotes when you have a crap lo load, uh, it takes a while just to teach. Yes, I have a shitload of emotes, if you haven't seen a list this long, um, that can be taught. It, ta it takes about 10 minutes to teach you know, all these to somebody and you do that two or three times in a gaming session, you know, and you've, you've chewed up a, a whole lot of your gaming time just trying to teach people recipes. Go learn them. <laughs> like, oh. So thoughts, opinions, should, should it be renamed? Should we leave it as it is and let people discover that for themselves? Type slash soda wiki. Yeah, let's try that right away. Well, why uh, is the slash... Dark Star emote teachable? Because it's always been teachable. I know. That's how it started. It wasn't something you can get in I game. Know. It was given to a player and then went from there. Mine mine came to me from Star. Uh. <clears throat> Along with the Star Alton. Okay. Uh, yep. Okay. Type, typing Soda Wiki crashes client is another one that's been out there, and I just used what? Soda Wiki wait, and it came wait, up wait. just right. Slash Soda Wiki recipe. Yeah, there you go. It didn't crash my client. But yeah. It's like, ooh, recipe for a mounted grand boar. Yeah. Ah. And that, Unfortunately, know, Soda Wiki doesn't Soda include Wiki. Recipe. the recipe. Yeah. Recipe. Where to purchase these things? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, we've been clamoring for that for a long time, especially the a purple llama. llama. The purple yeah. llama. So we can have some purple llama drama. And we know the purple llama exists in game, so they can't tell us that it don't exist. We know it exists. A rideable purple llama. But meanwhile, time to tell everybody about that wonderful calendar we've got out there, full of all sorts of exciting events. Oh, that NBNN Shroud of the Avatar community calendar hosted on nbnn.info. Tina, you've never been attacked uh, by a purple it, llama? Um, you just have to cast Fast Corpore enough times and then randomly, eventually, you'll get a purple llama. 
But yes, that in being in Shroud of the Avatar community calendar is an aggregate of all of the available Google public calendars that that guy knows about. If you have a Google public calendar related to Shroud and you want it hooked up, you can always email that news at nbnn.info right. and he'll do something with it event eventually. So that way we can read off your calendar. Don't hey, forget, as a like common, common courtesy, please update your fucking calendars because Monday, May 17th is tax day. Tax I day. My tax. I did my taxes all the way back in Febu February. Like January, for crying out loud. Well, I had to wait for all the paperwork to come in and figure out what yeah, I was going to well, do. So you don't need no stinking paperwork. Yep. But anyways, Monday through Friday, twelves and sixes around the clock. You should tune mm -hmm. in your ether amplifiers to Wady Radio Free Britannia to listen to two idiots interpreting the news. So you don't have to on a little show called Lunch with us. Indeed. 7 p.m. on WRFB is the 70s at 7. At 9 o'clock, a weekly open role-playing event out in Varric Chaos at the Pub of Extraordinary Thought. You can always join Andrew Tiana or is out there and uh, do some role-playing. Ooh, because all great adventures begin in a pub somewhere. And since this is Monday, tax day, you need to tune in at 10 p.m. to WRFB to the Wekud Womb with Waz's Wad, where he covers some walk and wool history from 1946 to 1974. And, and that's our, our calendar. Um, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Yay. Make pubs and inns great again. Yeah, I've got inns throughout the lands. As you haven't heard of Purple Dragon Ends, you need to go check out purpledragonends.com and check out all the places where I've got ends, including right behind me here in Owl's Head. Hmm. But yeah, oh, here we go, here we go. Thank you, Ekondas. <laughs> get what? them over Me? here. Pur what? Purple Llamas. Purple Llamas, get them back over uh, here. He, he's summoning them yeah. off, the, off the lot. Where, where, where did they go? An energy vortex. One ran that purple. way. Oh, there you go. There's the purple llamas. Two of them stacked together. Yeah. Purple llama. Because we need purple llama drama. That's now right. We just, now we just need to ride them. <laughs> Good man, Econdus. Yes. Good man. Okay. Yes, like but I said, we know time. they exist in games. So, yes, that time to remind you that you're tuned in to Two Idiots Misinterpreting the News so you don't have to on a show called Lunch. Laz and Jack right here on nbnn.info, twitch.tv slash nsys, twitch.tv slash nbnn news. Catch and notes and replays on YouTube, on Twitch, on WRFB. We thank you all, no matter how you watch or how you tune in. We do appreciate it. And all your support has kept us here for six and a half plus years and still running like the Energizer Bunny. Still going. Who'd have thunk? But thank you all for all your support. We do appreciate it. Don't forget the BMC wants you to check out BlackRock Cove and all their vendors selling you crafted goods for your crafting needs out of BlackRock Cove. Guild pricing across the board so you never have to guess what you're going to be paying you want to join the BMC or you want to check out the price guide, go to bmcguild.com slash price guide or bmcguild.com slash join as a join up. WRFB Radio Free Britannia bringing you the latest news and entertainment 24 hours around the clock, 24-7 as it may be. Hourly world news, music throughout the day for your daily grind. Us at 12 noon live and repeats at 6 and 12 around the clock in case you missed us. Crowd music for ABC files. Of course, if you want to share some ABC files with your fellow Shroudies, go to shroudmusic.com and you can upload some. Or if you're new and you need some, go check out shroudmusic.com as well, where you can download ABC files to play right here in the game. And shroudmarketplace.com, the place to go buy or sell all your virtual vendable goods. You got stuff you want to get rid of, or you got stuff that you need to buy. 
Go check out Shroud Marketplace because 200 plus independently owned and operated shops cannot be wrong. Yeah, that's right. You need to go to Shroud Mar That was a sneeze. Shroudmarketplace.com. Register an account and buy anything and everything Shroud related. And if you want to sell your stuff, you need to click on that register button. Then click on vendor registration and start listing anything and everything Shroud related. From accounts to game gold to crowns of the obsidian all the way to services. As long as it's not a bannable offense, you can buy ancient it or essences. sell it. Starting to uh, make their way out there. Ancient, oh ancient essences making their Lord British pavers, Lord British re stuff. Anything and everything. As long as it can be traded in game somehow. Yeah, you know what? Shroudmarketplace.com. Yeah, so interesting stuff showing up on the front page. Oh, yeah. Anything and everything Shroud related. Shroudmarketplace.com. Make sure to click that register button. Buy anything and everything. And then uh, start selling your stuff and do what Laz and myself do. So we put, put it up for sale. Then we turn around and we put it in the bank or in a chest and we forget about it. Forget about but, it forget about it until it sells and then we were like scrambling to go find it and then deliver it but anything uh. and everything shroudmarketplace.com 1 billion xp is already there man <laughs> okay but it is time for us to start closing some giveaways and launching our credits to thank bridge Cro bridge bridget royal for all those bits hey, i got to thank armless yeah. noob 98 for the follow today. That's our big shout out of the day. And uh, we're going to be giving away Cultures, the eighth wonder of the world, to one lucky winner here in just a moment. And Jigoku won himself a copy of something Epic Car Factory. Epic Car Factory. Epic Car Factory. Woohoo! Save yourself giveaway. two bucks, man. Picking ourselves a winner. And Hubert E.K. has got himself a copy of Culture's Eighth Wonder of the World, which is currently $4.99 on Steam. So congratulations to you, Hubert E.K. And of course, we got to get out of here. We'll be back with more right here tomorrow on ndnn remember it's a short week we'll finish up on thursday so till t till tomorrow i'm laz i'm jack and we are nbnn have a great day everybody and we'll see you all tomorrow bye bye